everybody, it's Grant, and today we're gonna to be checking out the progress of our newest renovation. Today's video is absolutely jam-packed for you. So not only are we gonna go over a lot of things like how a window unit really caused a ton of issues, a lot of rotting wood, and really affected our budget after we got rid of the window unit, the rot, and all of the issues that it caused. Nearly a third of the entire wall had to be taken out. On top of all of that, we had to replace the entire fascia board to get ready for our brand new roof, as well as we took a tree from an eyesore of the property all the way to the focal point of the house. On top of all those things, we're gonna give you a ton of pro tips to help you with your next project. I would like to take a second to tell you I very much appreciate you and to thank you for all the support that you have shown this channel. Don't forget, we just hit 1,440 subscribers and we have a 1,500 subscriber prize. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and also share it. If you could share this out, drop it on Facebook, any, any groups that you're on that people would actually like to see new construction, personal growth, or some remodels as well as some stock portfolio tips, please drop this video on there and let them know. Thank you so much for all of the support you've shown us. Don't forget we have the $100 gift card giveaway or Apple Pay. We're gonna pick a lucky commenter, so drop your comments in. And also, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And if you're like in retail like me, I hope you're trying to make the best of it and having a little fun. Check out my tactical pocket square that allows me to have a little fun, stay fashionable, and safe. So let's recap our progress to this point. So far, we've changed out all the windows of the property, making them way more energy efficient, as well as we added central AC and heat to make it a lot more comfortable for our tenants, while also getting rid of all those pesky window units and really giving the property a lot more curb appeal. One of our most fun things to do, as well as the coolest things to watch, was we changed out the large window in front of the house, which really updates the property. We left off from our last video on this rotting wall where the window unit had really caused a lot of serious issues. And I told you on the last video might, and I told you on this video that it did wreck our budget. The wall was so far gone, we had to rebuild nearly one third of the entire side of the house. This brings me to a really good point. You always need to add 10 to 20% for worst case in your remodel budget. No matter what, they were always gonna cost you a little bit more than you're thinking because no one thinks in worst case. And even if you do, you might not be thinking of worst, worst case, as in a wall needing to be completely rebuilt. However, even though this was a huge setback to the budget, nothing makes me happier than seeing the window unit go. In our last video, you saw where we took out that old, dangerous, and ugly gas heater. We've also now patched the drywall where it used to sit, as well as we replaced the sheetrock in our tenant's master, where we took out that window unit and ripped out all of that dry rotted wood. Another place that we actually upped our budget a little bit was with this preventative measure. We ended up wrapping the pipes underneath the house. This also wasn't included in the original bid and was extra cost of $600, but it's well worth it not having a pipe bust in the middle of a freeze to where we have to go out there and do emergency plumbing to get the house back in order. One really big issue at this house has been this beautiful oak tree. A lot of people don't realize how much damage a tree can really cause. Not only was this tree lowering the curb appeal of this home, but it was also causing a lot of water to stand in one spot on the roof and rot from the shingles down. Our tree guy climbed the tree and really cleaned it up, making it the focal point of the yard versus the eyesore that it had been for so many years. The next project that we tackled was removing the rotting fascia from around the entire house. Because of all of the neglect, this house had had so many issues with the tree leaving water on top of it, no one ever doing any preventative maintenance, and just literally letting the house rot from the outside in. We ended up getting this taken care of so that way we could make sure that we put our brand new roof onto a very solid and durable fascia that will stand the test of time. Speaking of standing the test of time, another thing that we did was we made sure we cut out all of the rotting siding, not just on the fascia, not just on that one wall, not wherever we took out the window units, but also anywhere that we could find it. So here's a spot right here where you see us repairing it with that brand new siding and making the house definitely 
last for many years to come for our tenants. So as you guys know right here, another major victory for me is getting rid of this last, the last window unit of this house. So apparently this window unit right here was the absolute Mac daddy that you could buy because one of the workers of the house asked me if he could buy it. I said, look, I'm pretty sure my tenant put that in. And even though I bought the house, I, I, I'm not going to take something that I didn't pay for. So of course we asked the tenant, he says, yeah, you can buy it. The, my worker <laughs> offers 200, 300 bucks, uh, max of four. And my tenant said he paid $1,200 for this window unit. So I don't know if it blows snow, but I'm telling you, apparently it was the Mac daddy that you could ever buy. So they didn't come to a terms or, or any type of deal, but of course the best part was me taking this out of the wall and getting this hole patched up to get rid of those pesky, ugly eyesores. So as you can see right here, this is the garage slash laundry room. Wait till we get to this project. I think you're really gonna enjoy what we did for the tenants. We really went above and beyond to make sure that they had a great place to store their belongings, but also for the family to do their laundry. I didn't wanna to have to take the washer and dryer and stick it on the side of the house. So we really finished, you know, adjusting the budget after we did this garage because we should have just torn it down and extended the driveway or something like that. But because they really wanted to keep it, we went the extra mile and really made it special. And we videoed it all for you guys here on the channel. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos because they take so many, so many hours to put together. But if there were ever a reason to put them together, it's for you guys watching us, supporting us, and I very much appreciate you. That's it for the video, guys. If you enjoy videos like this, please demolish that like button as if you are buying your very first property and this video might help you with some tips on how to get it rent ready. On top of all those other things, please hit the notification bell and also hit the subscribe button. We very much appreciate you. We're almost to 1,500 subscribers and we would really like it if you would share this video out and make sure that you put it on any pages or anywhere that it might be relevant for people to see us and come check us out as well. We also post every Wednesday and Friday, so be aware of that. As well as the 1,500 subscribers, we'll be doing another drawing for a $100 gift card as well as a letter from me just expressing how much I appreciate you and all of our other followers out there. On top of all that, please comment anything you'd like to see in future videos as well as anything you liked out of this video. As well as if you like watches like I do, I have no problem with sharing my watch collection with you. So please comment below if you'd like to see that, uh, if that interests you at all. And I can also show you about resale value and things like that because I also sell watches on the side, mainly Rolex just because they're easier to trade. On top of all of that, I hope you have a fantastic afternoon and I will see you on the next one.